On the docket, Judge Islipsis versus Ward Jahaski. All rise. What in the world are you doing? Nothing, sir. I should hope not. Now let's get on with it. First we have Leonard Lipsitz. He says he rented an apartment from the defendant. When he told the defendant there were bugs, he did nothing about it so he stopped paying rent. Next we have Jamie Ward Jahaski. She told the plaintiff she wanted a divorce if he didn't stop running out of the house naked. She's suing for back rent of $2,500. Mr. Lipsitz, we will start with you. I was arrested because they said I didn't have any pants on, and now, my girl is suing me for child support. Why didn't you have any pants on? Because she kicked me out before I could get dressed. Mrs. Wojciechowski, why did you kick him out the house naked? I told him to get out but I would have given him a chance to get dressed. I always do. Mrs. Wojciechowski, how many children do you have? I have seven children and one on the way. You have seven children? Ma'am? Yes, that's correct. I'm going to grant you your $2,500, ma'am. But I'm going to have to dismiss the case against your husband. I don't understand. He should be put under the jail. Case dismissed. But why, judge? He didn't have time to put his pants on. Now get out of my courtroom. If you keep an aspirin between you and me three yes, you'll never have a headache. I am Judge Patterson. There is make, nobody make the tougher boy. than me. Make, 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 make the money go. Hello there pretty lady, what are you up to today? What in the world are you barking at? What's up pretty lady? Where did you come from? Where are you off to? I saw you and I came running. I haven't seen you in the neighborhood lately. So I wanted to check you out. My, you are a grouchy one. You live around here? Yes, as a matter of fact I do. I was just taking a walk is all. What in the world are you barking at? Fido? I wish he wouldn't call me Fido. My name is Mark. It's alright. It's gonna be just fine. Come on. Let's go home. Who was that? I'm not sure, but I know a way we can find out. How can we find out? Come with me. Let's see what's on TV, shall we? That was close. You almost got us caught. Can you ever forgive me? What was that all about? Hey, you with the long neck. Move out the way. I can't see anything. Who's that talking? It's you, Fatso. Get out of my way so I can get by. 
I didn't ask to be seated next to you anyhow. You're blocking my view. Everybody's is blocking your view. Your mama. Oh, you want to go and talk about my mama do you? Okay. Yo mama so fat she has been declared a natural habitat for condors. Oh yeah. Yo mama so skinny she turned sideways and disappeared. Yo mama so fat her nickname is Lardo. Yo mama so skinny she hula hoops with a cheerio. Yo mama so fat God told her he had no room in heaven and the devil said there was no room in hell. Yo mama so skinny she has to hold herself above the toilet for fear of falling in. Yo mama so fat her BMI is measured in acres. Fat and skinny had a race. Fat laid a fart and skinny dropped dead. You better not let Noah hear you talking like that. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. But the roses are wilting, the violets are dead, the sugar bowl's empty, and so is your head. I want to feel your sweet embrace, but don't take that paper bag off your face. My darling, my lover, my beautiful wife. Marrying you screwed up my life. I see your face when I am dreaming. That's why I always wake up screaming. Kind, intelligent, loving and hot. This describes everything you are not. Love may be beautiful, love may be bliss, but I only slept with you because I was pissed. I thought that I could love no other, that is, until I met your brother. I love your smile, your face, and your eyes. Damn, I'm good at telling lies. My love, you take my breath away. What have you stepped in to smell this way? Hey man, are you on your break? I'm exhausted I've been here since 7 a.m., and there's more over them to do. They are working me to death you know. Yeah, I know. Maybe you can lose some weight while you work, you know. Anyway, you know that girl in accounting that just started? Yeah, the one that's 6 feet tall? The one that wears size 12 shoes? The one with that has a nose like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? That one? Yeah, that's the one. She asked me out for a date, again. Said she wants me to take her to the movies or something. Possibly dinner, you know. Well, are you going out with her or not? You know she's been wanted to date you ever since she started just last week. I know. Heck yeah, I'm going out with her. I haven't had a date in seven years. I'm going to say yes the next time she asks me. That could be next year. That's the chance I'll have to take. I'm too afraid to go and ask her myself. Well, there's always overtime to do. Got to get back to work. Look, this is a great house. Don't you think so? The dream of the older generation was to pay off a mortgage. The dream of today's young families is to get one. Well, hello. My name is Frida Brown. I'll be the agent showing you the house. If you think no one cares you're alive, miss a couple of house payments. My phone is ringing. Just a moment. Let me get this. I'll be right with you. Hello. Yes. If you want to know exactly where the property line is, just watch the neighbor cut the grass. Thank you for waiting. Sorry about that. I'm Susan and this is Reggie. So glad to meet you. As I said my name is Mrs. Brown. This is really a wonderful house. It has three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, that's exactly what we're looking for. This country is the only place where you can borrow money for a down payment, get a first and second mortgage and call yourself a homeowner. Everybody's got problems. I'm trying to sell a house. This is the dining room. As you come the family is getting ready for dinner, so we will make this showing rather quick. A buyer told me that he lived in the same house for 10 years. When I checked, I found out he'd still be there today if the governor hadn't pardoned him. The sellers told me their house was near the water. It was in the basement. There is no longer a need for the neutron bomb. We already have something that destroys people and leaves buildings intact. 
It's called a mortgage. Did you hear about Robin Hood's house? It has a little John. Good evening, everyone. My agent was always smiling. I didn't think anybody could have that many teeth without being a barracuda. Oh, this is the owner of the house, Mr. Jamison. The house is only five minutes from shopping, if you've got an airplane. Charity, a thing that begins at home and usually stays there. The best part of a real estate bargain is the neighbor. Well, we should be going. Mr. Jamison is probably tired after coming home from a hard day's work. No, not at all. Please have a seat. The house has a wall-to-wall -wall carpet and back-to-wall payment. Won't you join me for coffee? A typical home has a TV set that is adjusted better than the kids. We'd love to, but we really must be going. Thank you so much, Miss Brown, for showing us the house. We will let you know if we're interested after I talk it over with my husband. Okay? Absolutely. Thank you again. Mr. Jamison, I'll be in touch with you shortly. How's problem? The oven is self-cleaning, but the kids aren't. Well, thank you again for coming out. Hope to hear from you soon. Yes, you will definitely be hearing from me. We do want the house. I just have to talk it over with my husband first. You understand? A happy home is a place where each spouse entertains the possibility that the other may be right though neither believes it. Come on, let's go home. I asked her why does she have her front door leading right into the dining room. She said, so her relatives won't have to waste any time. The real sign says, we have lots to be thankful for. That's a weird thing to put on a for sale sign. Oh well, let's go home. Hello, and, how are we feeling this evening after the debate? Oh, darling, you know just how I'm feeling. What's that? I didn't hear you. Speak up. Yeah, man, I'm doing fine. I'm running for president, my wife's stockings are running, and we're running out of time. Give me a virgin, Mary, don't hold the virgin. President Obama announced on Monday that William M. Daley, the White House Chief of Staff, was stepping down. Mr. Daley submitted his resignation to Mr. Obama last week, a senior administration official said, having discussed his future with his wife over the Christmas holiday. What? What did you say he did during the Christmas holiday, dear? Old man, you need to get a hearing aid. We can't keep repeating everything we said. After that failed negotiation, he, 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 which led to months of acrimony between the White House and Congress, some of Mr. Daly's duties were transferred to Pete Rouse. Oh, stop your grinning. This is serious business here. Yes, we all know how serious this business is, don't we? Your mama. Hey, now wait a minute. Don't you go and start talking about my mama. I can talk about your mama too. Your mama's so fat she needed three seats to sit in instead of one. Oh, yeah? Your mama's so dumb she thought a circumcision was a religious holiday. Okay boys, let's not talk about each other's mama. I'm so old I can't even remember my mama. Well, your mama's so black, the only way you can see her is by the whites of her eyes. Okay, your mama's so ugly when she joined an ugly contest, they said sorry. No professionals. Yo mama teeth are so yellow, traffic slows down when she smiles. Oh, dear? Yo mama likes spoiled milk, fat and chunky. Yo mama so white, she makes the Pillsbury Doughboy look like a Mexican. My mama ain't white, stupid. Yo mama so dumb she studied for a drug test. Yo mama so dumb she thought Wu-Tang was an African orange drink. Okay boys, really? Your mama so dumb she got locked in a grocery store and starved. Enough. Your mama. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up. The show is about to begin. 
Great place you invited me to. Glad you like it. I hope your wife doesn't mind me bringing you out with Boucher. No, Michelle is okay with this. I need a night out with the fellas. Can I get you over to sirs? Yes, I'll have a virgin Mary, please. And you, sir, are you having anything to drink? Yes, as a matter of fact, I will have something to drink. I'll have a double martini, please. Right away. I'll be right back with your drinks. Maybe I should call home. Michelle might be worried about me. Nonsense. Let's just have a good time out tonight. Really nice place here. I come here sometimes to let off steam. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll be coming back to this place. This looks like a place where I can really relax. Give me your drink, sir. A virgin Mary for you, and a martini on the looks for you, sir. That'll be $12. Yes, of course. There you go. Thank you. If you need anything else, I'll be right over there. I do like to drink, so I'm sure I'll be calling him back over here. We should have just sat at the bar. Don't worry. You'll have plenty opportunity to get as much liquor as and you now, want. Ladies and gentlemen, and you'll have a great time this show. evening. Tonight we have a surprise featured act. Then the Hip Hop Crusaders performing their dance routine for you. Then we have the open mic, where you, the audience can come up, and tell your jokes, and see just how funny, you really are. Then we have Select Lucky Live for, for Select Lucky Thrill, come up to the stage and tell their jokes. If they are funny they stay. If they are not funny, they get yanked off the stage. Let's get on with the show. Let the show begin. Tonight is your night. Just sign a sheet if you want to get up on stage and see if you have what it takes at tonight's open comedy mic. And now, as promised, our special surprise guest, featured act. Let's give it up for Michelle Obama. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim, for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for Jim, the host of the show for tonight. How's everybody out there doing tonight? How many of you all of you, Mama? It's Michelle Obama. <laughs> Close your mouth, the rock, before a fly gets in it. She didn't tell me she was going to be here. Well, what do you know? She's actually quite funny. Close your mouth, before a fly gets in it. She is funny, isn't she? Let's just get started, why don't we? Anybody have that love their mama? She's funny. <laughs> Yo, mama's so bad. When her beeper goes off, people think she's backing up. <laughs> Yo, mama's so bad. She saw a yellow bus full of white kids and yelled, Stop that Twinkie! <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is so dumb. She studied for a drug test and failed. <laughs> Your mama is so stupid. It took her two hours to watch 60 minutes. She's so crazy. <laughs> Your mom is so fat that when she gets on a scale, it says to be continued. <laughs> Yo mama so stupid she thinks the quarterback is a refund. I didn't know my life was so funny. Yo mama so fat, even Bill Gates couldn't pay for her liposuction. She's hilarious. Yo mama so fat, when she bungee jumps, she pulls down the bridge with her. <laughs> Yo mama so stupid, she got locked in a grocery store and starved. <laughs> Yo mama so short, he 
you can see your feet on your driver's license. Let's hear it from Michelle Obama. Let's give it up one more time from Michelle Obama. You were great, honey. Thanks. Glad you like me. Why don't you sit down with us? Okay. Don't mind if I do. And now, for the part of the show that you've all been waiting for, it's time for open mic. But first, we have a dance troupe that will be performing for you. And here they are. Please, let's all welcome the Hip Hop Crusaders. Come on and give it up to them. They're great. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> Weren't they great? Let's give them another round of applause. First up, we have Lady Padiga. Let's give her a warm welcome as she comes to the stage. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you again. Yo mama so short she poses for trophies. Yo mama so dark she went to night school and was marked absent. Yo mama so stupid, she went to the orthodontist to get a blue tooth. Her jokes are not that funny. Yo mama is so black, when she went outside, the street lights turned on. Yo mama is so nasty, she has a sign around her neck that says, warning, may cause irritation, drowsiness, and a rush or breakouts. Oh! That is what happens if you're not funny, you will get yanked off the stage. Don't come up here telling no stale jokes. Am I right? We want people who are funny, who make us laugh. Beware of the siding. Coming up next, we'll have Samson. Let's give it up for Samson. Thank you for having me, Alan. You're welcome. How's everybody doing out there tonight? I'm sure you love your mama. Am I right? Yo mama's so nasty. When I went to your house, she said what's for dinner. Yo mama put her foot up on the table and said corn. Yo mama's so nasty. She only changes her drawers once every 10,000 miles. Yo mom is so old her social security number is one. <laughs> Yo mom is so old her birth certificate is in Roman numeral. <laughs> Yo mom is so old she knew Burger King while he was still a prince. He's the virus. <laughs> Yo mom is so old her birth certificate says Expired on it. <laughs> Yo mom is so old that when she was in school there was no history class. Let's give it up for Samson. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Let's give it up one more time for Samson. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Oh. We have one more open mic contestant. Okay. And now, we have one more open mic contestant, and then we will have our celebrity life off. Samson, you were great. And now for our final open mic contestant, Fred. Afterwards, we have a special surprise for you. 
Let's give it up for Fred, you all. Thank you for having me, Alan. Okay, gotta run. How's everybody good out there? <laughs> Your mom is so hairy, she look like she got buckwheat in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is so greasy, she used bacon as a band-aid. <laughs> Your mom is so fat that when she sits on the beach, Greenpeace shows up and tries to pull her back into the ocean. Your mom is so old, I told her to act the whole neck, and she died. Those are the same jokes Samson told. <laughs> Your mom is so old, her social security number is one. Your mom is so old, her birth certificate says expired on it. Your mom is so old, she knew Burger King while he was still a prince. What happened? I was funny. Those were the same jokes, Samson told. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the part of the show that you've all been waiting for. It's Celebrity Laugh Off. Tonight we have with us Cindy Mappo, John Ann, Ben Hyden, and King J. Let's give it up for them, why don't you? You may begin. Don't forget about the science. Your mom is so fat when her beeper goes off, people thought she was backing up. She got the nerve to talk about somebody's mama being fat. Your mom is so fat every time she walks in high heels, she stripes oil. She got the nerve to talk about somebody's mama being fat. Your mom is so fat, she has a ring in her blue jeans. <laughs> Your mom is so stupid, she asked me what kind of jeans I had on, and I said guess, so she said Levi's. <laughs> Your mom is so stupid, she sits on the TV, and watches the couch.